two changes after the loss away to Chicago Fire. No Forsberg again, meaning Kalen Carr. The system has to be the start. Yes. Three changes, Fortune, Tiare and Cobb, who moves into a back five for the first time since July 6th. Yes. And so we go again. The time of the season where it matters more than most. Time is of the essence in an essential late season contest. Caballo, Uruguay player. Into the path of Tolkien. Angle ball in, and Guzan got a piece of it. Got enough of it. Tolkien's ball in to the back post. It goes towards goal. It goes! Offside. Celebratory moments cut short of Red Bull Arena. And Lewis Morgan can't believe it. You're always looking for anything that comes off him and does a really good job here for Morgan to frame the goal to look for that tap in, but you can see clearly there. Tolkien's ball in. Yeah, he's got a piece of it. Tolkien gets the rest. Good cross goal! Look, comes from the surface and it's a question mark of whether this ball will be onside or not from Tolkien and from a score on defensive duties. Miranchuk. Switched forward now for Chiare to chase. Carvalho on defensive duties. Chiare in behind here. Now then, now then, referee says penalty. Disaster for Red Bull New York. Lifeline for Atlanta United. Liverpool team that by their system will push numbers forward and Chiare does well here to just edge himself in between just getting that position that first touch and then comes around and there's clear contact there from Carvalho. Miranjo did it so spectacularly against Miami on Wednesday. It's Miranjo who scores brilliantly. Just so calm here just casually steps up with some good pressure and waves coming down that right flank. Two changes, as you can see, the evening ends prematurely for Dante Vancea and Cameron Harper. Serge Gomo and Elias Manuel, the one thing they have in abundance, Caelan Carr, is pace. Yeah. Life from a relatively blunt front line. Christian and Harper ball to bounce, it's not cleared away. Referee gives the decision the other way and a free kick to Atlanta. After a review, Chris Penso says. After review, it's a kicking foul by 35 of Atlanta. The final decision is a penalty. There we have it. That's why VAR is here. 89 saves this season. Can he add another here on a massive moment for Red Bull New York? Edley and Manuel has his penalty saved. Brad goes out to the rescue again. Brad Guzan is telegraphed, he reads it the whole way, it's not a good penalty, raked him, so those two going at it time and again, and expect nothing less, especially as this comes down to the wire, it's just for me, would have liked to see Lewis Morgan show some of that personality to step up and take that penalty, to take the ownership of that moment, and... Here is Mosquera, the fresh-legged Colombian, Mosquera! And just dances his way into the box there and doesn't hesitate. Just creates an inch against Dylan Nealis and that's all he needs to pick out that top corner. No chance for Coronel. The Colombian beats the Paraguayan into the net. And Atlanta United from a saved penalty from Brad Guzan on one end. And then in extra time, Mosquera makes the difference. And wanted them to get greedy and would have not settled for anything. In this one, he's continued to change the team. Nealis the target, back across goal. Ten-hand stuff, and it's the center back Noah Isla who stands this up to Dylan Nealis, and it's a courageous header from him. And with that goes the final whistle. What a thrill of a football match! A game where both sides gave absolutely everything.